Good morning, students. Jai Swami Narayan. Today's lecture, students, will complete chapter seven, and I will tell you how much we need to do, students, in chapter seven, as soon as I complete two, three sums. Now, first of all, students, pay attention. In the last video lecture, I have uploaded, and we have done the sums of systematic sampling. Sums of systematic sampling are not included in your syllabus. It was just as an extra practice. Now, students, stratified random sampling and systematic random sampling, the sums are not included in the syllabus, and even theories are not included in the syllabus. So, you have to only do simple random sampling. At the end of the lecture, I will tell you which. Here is only you have to do from this particular chapter. Okay. Now, students, uh, in the last lecture, I told you that we have done the sums of systematic sampling. All the theoretical questions we have already done, students. In you can say section D. Last questions, eleventh and twelfth, I have to discuss. The many more questions we have done. You have not to do students theories of stratified random sampling. So section D students, you have to strike off questions number seven, eight, nine, and ten. In section D, remove questions seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now eleven questions students, I am discussing why is population inquiry usually not feasible in practice. Now, what do you mean by population inquiry, students? An inquiry in which each and every unit of the population is studied by the inquirer, students, is called population inquiry. Say, for example, your class of 55 students, and I am asking each and every child about his or her hobbies and last school attend. Then, students, it is called population inquiry. So first of all, you should define population inquiry. An inquiry in which each and every unit of the population studied by the inquirer is called population inquiry. For example, each and every child of a class asked by the class teacher regarding his or her hobbies or liking of subject. Now, population inquiry students always involves more time. In population inquiry, we require more time, money, and energy. Next, when the inquiry is by destruction of units, population inquiry is not visible. Remember the example of destroying glass bulbs to check the quality of glass. So there are only four points to supplement the answer. First, population inquiry requires more time. Second, when the inquiry is by destruction of units, it is uh, quite obvious that population inquiry is not visible. Population inquiry, if I do, when it is destruction of units, say if I destroy an entire lot of ten thousand bulbs, then there is a fairly high amount of economic loss. So, population inquiry is not visible when the units are to be studied by destruction. Third, the population inquiry. Is always a time-consuming and tedious job. Time we already said is a very tedious job because when large number of units are to be studied, population inquiry is a tedious job. Fourth, we have to appoint expert evaluators, and whenever it is a population inquiry, then definitely appointing and recruiting expert evaluator is also a very difficult job. To get an enumerator is easy, students, but to get an expert enumerator for population inquiry is not easy. So, in general, students, why population inquiry is not possible as for uh, you can say points. First, population inquiry requires more time and energy. When the inquiry is by destruction of units, population inquiry is not economically viable. Population inquiry is a very tedious, tiresome job, and fourth, to get expert evaluators for conducting a population inquiry is not 
so easy. Then she will state the advantages of sampling. In this year, we only write why sampling is inevitable in day to day life. In answer number 12 students, we have to only write this theory why sampling is inevitable in day to day life. You can say, why sampling is physical when the number of units are very large and its population inquiry is not physical? Sampling or sample inquiry is physical. When the units are spread over a wide geographical area, sampling is the only best possible resource. When the units under inquiry are to be destroyed, in that case also sampling is the best, so you can say, resource. And whenever we have limited availability of resources like time, money, and energy, sampling is to be done. So in section B, students, you don't have to do question number 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 and 12 I will discuss. Now in sum students, you will only do sum number 13 and 14. The remaining sums of stratified handled sample and systematic handled sample you have not to do. So questions only 12, 13 and 14. Section B, what I have uploaded in already in the video. It is for your knowledge students. Now, Using the following random numbers to select a random sample of 5 ATMs without replacement from a total of 100 ATMs. So always note down students first the population size which is 100 and sample size which is 5. Now we have to select a sample of 5 ATMs without replacement. Sample of five ATMs without replacement. Now, students, this has no formula. These sums are very easy. Only one thing which we have to remember whether it is with replacement or without replacement. Without replacement means a number cannot be repeated. Repetition not This is which we have to remember and members. Now students, the given numbers are first of all we have to check the given numbers. The given numbers are 0, 1, 8, 5, 100, and 2, 153, 0, 9, 6, 0, 2, 7. 0, 0, 7, 1, 1, 8, 2, 45. How many numbers are given? That you first check. Now what we have to do? We have to ignore the numbers which are greater than population size. We have to ignore the number of students which are greater than population size. This is what you can say answer. So, ignoring numbers greater than 100 which is population size. So, let me write down the numbers which are less than or equal to 0, 1, 8. We have to keep population size in mind. So what we have to do, whenever we are given the numbers, first of all, we have to ignore the numbers greater than 100. So 0, 1, 8. Then I have to ignore 502. Then I have to ignore 153. Then 0, 9, 6. Then 0, 2, 7. Then 007, James Bond. Then 118, I have to ignore. 245, I have to ignore. And 012, 054. And remaining all numbers are greater than. So ignoring numbers greater than population size. These are the numbers. Now we have to select a sample of 5 ATMs. So sample. Units with 
same number students in sample units can be repeated now students sam population size is 70 and numbers given are three digit so all numbers are greater than population size so here we told ignoring numbers greater than population size But if I ignore all the numbers greater than population size, here no units will be the sample units. So if your population is of two digit and given numbers are of three digit, then we have to select first two digit of given numbers and we ignore the numbers of two digit which are greater than population size. So what I am writing is ignoring. numbers greater than 70 by taking two digits of given numbers so here we have to take two digits of given numbers plus we have to ignore the numbers which are greater than population size so whatever three digit numbers are given from those numbers i have to only take first two digit and that two, the first two digit is greater than 70 i will so 27 yes then 32 yes then 92 no because it is greater than 70 39 yes 66 yes 32 yes 91 no 48 yes 78 no 25 yes 00 yes 88 no 11 yes so what i have done to you is try to understand this very very perfectly if your population is of two digits And whatever numbers from which we have to select sample is of three digit, then what we have to do, we have to only consider the first two digits of three digit numbers, plus ignore such numbers which are greater than seventy, ignoring numbers greater than seventy by taking two digits of even numbers. Now the 
the selection of seven sample units with this is a number of digits. So from whatever digits you have selected from that, write seven, which will be my sample units. So my answer will be like this: sample units with replacement are. select first two digits of a three digit number plus ignoring the numbers which are greater than population size so the numbers which are greater than 70 should be silent this is the answer you can check when here is it 27 32 then students uh, 59 sorry is it 59 oh sorry it's 59 sorry students I should be This sample units are all of sample units. So now the two questions which we have left of section B, I will be discussing. If three digit random numbers are given and population size is of two digits, is this sum? Section B answer 12 students I am discussing. You have to pay attention because this are Theoretical question for every question students, I will not be able to write the answer. So it is this one. If the three digit random numbers are given and your population size is of two digits, how will be the random number selected using this? Means how you select the sample using these random numbers? We will select numbers, we will select numbers by taking two digits of the given three digit numbers and we will ignore the two digits which are greater than population size. Check what I am trying to tell. We will take two digits of the given numbers and we will ignore the numbers which are greater than population size. This we have to write. So whenever your population is of two digits and given numbers from which we have to select samples are of three digits. We ignore the third digit and take first two digits of random numbers. Plus, we will only take such first two digits of random numbers which are less than the population size. So, section B answer 12 is based on some number 14. That is why students I kept that pending. Then, 30 if two digit random numbers are given and the population size is of three digits then how will be the random numbers how will random numbers be used for selecting the sample your random numbers given are of two digit and population size is of three digit means every number is less than population size so we'll select the numbers according to the sample size priority because all the numbers will be of you can say two digit so if the numbers are of two digit Population size is of three digits, means every two digit number is less than population size. So we will directly select the numbers in order according to the requirement of sample from the given numbers. We only take two digits from three digit numbers if your population size is of two digit. But if population size is of three digit and numbers are of two digit, then every number will be less than the population. And directly sample units can be selected in order according to the requirement. So students here you don't have to worry much. You will be asking only the sums which are sampled in 14. Remaining all sums will be removed by board from this chapter. So this chapter is highly theoretical. 
you don't have to do students any theories of stratified random sampling and systematic random sampling even those students are being taught because in reduction or in reduced levels those two topics have been removed so those two topics students i will not be asking in examination so the topics which we have to focus and write in so that students you can easily remember that this many topics only you have to do from you can say chapter 7 as far as long theories are considered so this many topics you have to do long theories from this chapter long questions to be done for examination only six topics are there first need of sampling second differentiate Population inquiry and sample inquiry. Third, characteristics of an ideal sample. Four points to be considered for determining sample size. Points to be considered. One. Which we have not to do, I will tell you. 
chapter 9 should you stay attention chapter 9 section b and section d not to be done not to be done are uh, questions 10 and 11 and section e not to be done are uh, questions 1 2 so not to be done are uh, questions 2 3 So students in chapter seven, stratified random sampling and systematic random sampling has been removed by board. So whatever deleted syllabus is there, students that I have perfectly let's say uploaded. So now you are crystal clear that what is to be done and what is to be. not to means what is to not to do for examination point of view as such we have taught everything students we have taught everything students and basically students the sums which are 